welcome to the Totally Awesome Fishing Show. You join us in the car on the way to Royal Barks Fishery. Royal Barks Fishery. We've been in traffic for most of the day so far. Yeah, it's been a really, really enjoyable trip. Everything <laughs> we've done has turned to doo doo today. <laughs> it's a doo doo today. That nearly right. Doo doo. What are we fi what are we fishing for? What's the target? Uh, target species would be a nice perch, around about pound and a half to two and a half that sort of size which they have got some big perch I understand in here, but uh, I'm no regular, I've only ever fished it once before. And uh, they do carp, they've got some very big roach, guy in my local tackle shop said they've got some nice roach, but uh, that is in the winter. At uh, this time of year, which is late autumn, coming in early winter, you really do have to get the low pressure, mild air flows right, because if you get a cold snap, it's the kiss of death. They're not used to the cold, they don't like it. In the middle of winter they are, it's okay. But when you first get a cold snap, it's not great. So hey ho, it's mild. <laughs> it's all looking good, except for our motorway. And uh, I seem to remember, well, your your favourite method of perch fishing was probably the, the minnows, wasn't it? Yeah, I seem yeah. to remember a video you did a while ago about your PB perch. I think it was. Yeah, it was. I don't know what it was about three nine or something like that. Um, obviously, by today's standards, not particularly big. It's certainly big for me. I don't catch three pound nine perch every day. Um, that was on live bait and it was uh, unexpected but here we're going to be using prawns apparently they like prawns over a bed of red maggots and when I phoned the bailiff he said you want to put small baits out like red maggots to draw the small fish around and then fish the prawns over the top we're going to give it a go, go who, who knows what we'll catch and who knows if we'll even get there and it wasn't long before we actually did arrive and start fishing using ledgers and these little lightweight bobbins to give minimal resistance to any perch that picked up that prawn. You could float fish, but I personally quite like link ledgering and just using a couple of buzzers very, very quietly as an indicator. It wasn't too long before I got that first perch in the net and it was not a small fish. There's something about the perch. I'm not really into drop shotting, but I do like catching them on bait. And when you get that fin up, they certainly do look quite a splendid fish. Well worth the effort to fish for them. Well, I'll tell you what, that traffic queue was worth it. He's not a monster perch, but it's a perch. Let's get over him by that jaw. There we go. Still not, still a nice fish, still a nice fish. Pleased with that one. Took the bobbin straight up, and that was on prawn close into the bush. Now, John the bailiff, Robbie came said, because we were here late, as we always are late, he said, bait up with small uh, two mil pellets and some red maggots, about four or five different swims, give it 30 minutes in each and move along. I hadn't even moved and I got that perch. Come off. Yeah. Well, we've had a swim change. I've literally had no bites, nothing for probably an hour and a half now. And uh, we've been feeding up the swim to the right of me. Chucked a couple of prawns out, a couple of maggots. And honest to God, the, the prawn was sinking. Didn't even turn my alarms on, they're not even on. Look, the, the bobbins are just sitting there. And it just pulled it out of my hands. I felt the tweak in my hands on the line. It's digging like that. Crikey, if it's a perch, it's probably no, dead now. It's a, a carp. carp, but I can't see. Big Ben, take your time. Give him a bit of side strain. It's one of my big carp reels, this one, so I don't want to overdo it. It's got 12 pound line on, so. No, it's actually perch tackle. It's not right? perch tackle, but it's purely for this reason because there is big carp in here. Either way, it's, it's very nice. It's what did you do? Take the bobbin out of your hands? No, I wasn't even set up. I just had the line in my. I was sinking the line, the water, and the line went boom. So I just hit into it's quite it. It's exciting when you do that. It is, yeah, yeah, I just hit into it, and, he was, and it was here by the lead. It was not half a rod length out. Not even a rod length. He must have just been sitting there and it plonked yeah. right on his nose. Probably on those pellets we've For him in. to take it that quickly. I want to see it now. Yeah, I don't want to... Ping out and... Hold him too quick, but... Watch those metal stakes here. Eh? Look at the rod. Put him up right, put him up right. Get him past those steel stakes. He's gone. Let's make it or break it. I think you might have him there. Just let him dig on that bend. He's out in the open water, which is good, but if he kites right now, I'm stuffed. Oh, he's on the surface. Come on. It's 
especially on a session that's only about two hours long. It's probably only a five pound fish, but... No, I need more than five. It's scary, man. Some sort of scrapper, isn't he? That's a nice fish. It's just, it's a common, that's probably why he's got so much One of the five energy, fish. yeah. I'm pretty sure he's a common. Yeah, he's a common. And as we're fishing, guys, we're just wondering if it's going to fit in this perch net. <laughs> That's so nice. No, that's 12. Thick fat. Oh! He's in the net. That's what you call a perch, boys. That's going to be 15 plus. There we go. Sorry about the plane. It's, a, we reckon, about 12 pounds of prime fighting common carp. Taking the prawn on the way down on the drop. Uh, it's not our target species, but it's... It's always, you know, good to be catching fish, and it put up an absolutely awesome scrap. But we'll get him back, and uh, hopefully, maybe towards dusk, get a nice perch. And while Furman and I nearly missed another fish, but luckily. It came good and I got him in the net for you. Have a look at this. Well, no sooner had Mike had that uh, double figure carp, I went back and there we go. A nice perch on the prawn. Bobbin went straight up, cast out. Same as Mike, they must be on the feed a little bit. As soon as it went to the top, I hit it and there we go. Nice perch, I don't know, a pound and a quarter, something like that. Might be a bit bigger. A nice looker, let's get it back. I want to get another prawn in the water. What a good job we put up with that awful traffic jam this morning. Well, finally got myself a perch and he was right near the snags, this one. I, I popped the prawn dangerously close to the snags. Thankfully, it paid off. Oh, he's just hooked. And there's a perch in the net. There we go. Nice perch. A fisherman's favorite sight. Nice perch. Yeah, let's have a look at him. Even better perch in the net. Nice perch, get, get the net, get the net. It's a perch of the day. <laughs> Here we go, perch number two. The other one's just on there. Jesus, get the net. Come oh, on. it's even bigger. It's a nice one. Even bigger. Oh. Net's He's not long enough. He's hanging there. He's hanging there. No, no, no. A bit more. I can't. Go back slow. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get this one on the mat. A double. Woo. Two at once. Well, guys, it's been what we definitely call totally awesome fishing. I have got two pretty nice perch here. And I think Dad's got a carp, haven't come you? Come in, come in, come in. Look at, look, come in. Look at his perch. <laughs> yeah, forget the perch, forget that carp. Look at this. <laughs> and that's a really nice carp. That's a nine, 10 pounds. That is a beauty. It'd be close to 10, I'd say, if he's gonna calm down. This. And the nice place to put bottom, bottom carp there is a nice fish. That is. Oh, I'm going to get covered. I'm going to get covered. That is totally awesome fishing, oh, people. I'm going to get covered. <laughs> what do you think, guys? That is mad, wasn't it? Absolutely mad, frantic little five. Not even five minutes, three minutes. Crazy fishing. Well, we've got our pictures. Going to get them back. Let's get the smaller one first. And that is, even as a small one, that's a pretty fine perch. Fantastic perch. Lovely markings, lovely fins on it. Beautiful. Let's get it back, get another one. Wow, well, though we were on one of those totally awesome fishing show well, miniature sessions at just two or three hours, it was turning into something of a fish fest, with perch and carp coming pretty regularly. It just goes to show that old saying, or oh, be there when they bite, really is true. A super perch here for me, very pleased with that one. Mike's up the other end, I think he was playing a perch as well, so I had to film on my own. And we just bounced between about three or four swims, as a bailiff said, 
and it certainly paid off for us. I mean, you can do it when the fisheries are quiet, uh, no question, bait two or three swims and then just move, just keep moving, that's all you can. Here, another big perch, not small fish these, and they simply scoff those prawns down. People, we reckon that's my PB perch probably. It's easily over two pounds. It is an absolute chunk and it's full of, it's eating away. Prawns. Full of, full of prawns, my prawns, yeah. Brilliant. What a clonking fish. Absolutely, what do you reckon, two and a quarter? I'd say easy two and my a quarter. My PB is about two pound two, I'd say, so. It might be two and a half that one. That is, wow, yeah, No amazing. problem taking the prawns by Look the side Look at the mouth, mouth on that. Like a large mouth bass, that Ooh, one. Ooh, what a fish.